Welcome to JMW's Inside Man YouTube channel from JMW Solicitors. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video, keep the conversation going in the comments section as well. We also have a new JMW Inside Man podcast, so please download the podcast from your podcast provider. So who could forget Sunday when the Lionesses won unforgettable win against Germany in the Euro 2022 competition? Ben Pepe is JMW's head of sports services. So, Ben, what does a win like this mean for the profile of the players? And does it improve their earnings potential? So it's obviously a landmark moment in the in the women's game in this country, uh, not just for women's football but obviously also for the players um you've seen the crowds not just in stadium but in the celebrations in Trafalgar Square and all of a sudden people know who the star players are in the England women's football team which in turn means people will now know who the star players are in the WSL as well um so I think it's huge it's huge for their profile not just going to see an increase in social media followers and engagement but Brands now looking to partner with um, the likes of Leah Williamson, the England captain, Beth Mead, player of the tournament, um, and a whole host of the other players who essentially overnight have become global household names, uh, well, national household names, I should say, um, in the UK, which can only be great for women's sport, women's football, um, and all the young young girls who are now going to get into football off the back of it. And it's the biggest England win since 1966. Does that then open up more commercial opportunities for the Lionesses being more high profile? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, without a shadow of a doubt. So I think you've, you've seen some narrative in the press over the last couple of days. Emma Hayes wrote a really interesting article talking about the commercial operation of the WSL perhaps being put into the hands of a another organization that knows how to knows how to run a not just a league from a football perspective but a commercial operation um, that the WSL is is already becoming but is only gonna is only going to increase so you'll see more hopefully you will see obviously more broadcast revenue come into the sport which will then filter down to the players you'll see more commercial interest, not just in the players, but the clubs, women's football. I think um, the women's Euros generated somewhere north of around £60 million uh, pounds in sponsorship money. If you compare that to the men's Euros, which generated close to £2 billion, um, you can see the stark, stark difference. Um, that gap is going to narrow. Um, but it's not just about the major tournaments, right? So... As, as a result of the back of the tournament, there's going to be increased investment into the grassroots, into the women's game. More participation, more viewers means more money commercially, in essence. Um, one of the significant challenges they'll face is getting people to actually attend WSL matches. So advertisers and commercial partners like to go where the people are, whether that's on TV or in ground. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see if um, a number of the WSL clubs start to play more matches at the men's stadiums um, or play matches on the same day as the men's. So something that Man City do really well um, is have women's games before the men's, which is on the same site. So um, you'll see kind of a, a knock on effect of more money from the top that then trickles down and um, increased viewership will in lead to increased sponsorship, no doubt, in, in the women's game. It's just such brilliant news, Ben. Uh, you're our head of sports services here at JMW. Can you just give me an idea of how you work with players, with intermediaries uh, and, and commercial advertisers as well uh, to get them all working together? Yeah, sure. So um, we're very fortunate at JMW um, with regards to the service provision that we have for men's and women's athletes um, and clubs and governing bodies and brands. Um, and we work at the intersection of, of, all, of all three of those parties, essentially. So we have a number of brand clients who are looking to partner with um, athletes um, as brand ambassadors, startups looking to work with athletes and structure deals aligned to equity stakes in their businesses or, or other commercial other commercial kind of um deal structures um, and then with regards to um, looking after 
I suppose, talent and intermediaries, we offer a plethora of opportunities both on the legal side, but also on the commercial side with regards to the sponsorship partnership deals we've done in the past. And we hope to generate far more interest for our female athletes now because as they become more instantly recognizable and as they become um, bigger household names, there is absolutely no doubt that there's going to be more sponsorship and partnership opportunities for them, which is a breath of fresh air. And I suppose my hope is that brands partnering in women's football and women's sport in general aren't just doing it because they think that they need to, but they're doing it um, because they want to. Ben, thank you so much for your insight. And if you'd like to contact Ben, you can email insideman at jmw.co.uk or call 0161 82 81 999. Please also subscribe to the JMW Inside Man YouTube channel and download the JMW Inside Man podcast from JMW Solicitors from your podcast provider. I'm Dominic Walker, JMW's Inside Man.